Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about this news that apparently states that Batwoman, the CW, has recast Batwoman, or specifically Kay Kane, even after they said that they wouldn't. Remember the, all those articles after Ruby Rose was announced to was announced that she was leaving and that she won't be back after season one ended, granted abruptly because of COVID. But yeah, Ruby Rose said that she wasn't coming back. And a lot of people wondered, so does this mean that you're going to recast the character? But they said no. They said that we are instead going to hire an actress to play a completely new character, and she's she's going to be the one taking up the mantle of Batwoman. Now, people were wondering, well, then what happened to Kay Kane? The premiere of the second season uh, finally came out. And it apparently seemed to imply that Batwoman, or Kay Kane, is dead. But it seems like we find out, apparently from recent episodes, I haven't watched them because I, because fuck that garbage. Apparently it states that Kay Kane is still alive. And it seems like instead she's going to be played by a different character. You can see her right here. Excuse me. So yeah, they are going to recast her. Now, moving on to what the showrunner Caroline Dry says about why. She says, I did, uh, to be honest with you, I did consider the soap opera version for a hot minute selfishly because we had already a couple of episodes written. And transition wise, it would be seamless. Upon further reflection, and Greg helped me make this call, he's way smarter than me about this sort of stuff, he said, you know, we should just reboot the character in terms of reboot Batwoman as a different character, and also respect everything that Ruby put into the Kate Kane character. She, di she didn't add anything into the Kate Kane character, she was a wet blanket, she was boring. Somewhere along the way, someone must have changed their mind. The first evidence of this came in a retrospective special about the Arrowverse, a clip of Earth Prime's incipient Justice League, of which Batwoman is a member, was edited to emit Rose from the shot. Now they've gone from erasing the actress to replacing her for reasons that are still aren't, that still aren't completely clear. Didn't, didn't it come out that apparently people hated working with her, that she was being a pain in the ass, that... And apparently there was a ton of problems. At one point, I think Ruby Rose nearly ended up paralyzed. One person did end up paralyzed and one person actually died. I don't know. I mean, it seems kind of clear to me. I mean, why why they decided to tell her to get lost. But to me, what's even more interesting is that we got this bit of news. Now, I don't know how reputable this article is or this website is. But apparently, according to them or according to a source that they have, the same one that has provided uh, this uh, this website with multiple confirmed exclusive scoops that have included the reveal that Bruce Wayne's parents will be evil in Robert Pattinson's The Batman, Bruce Campbell will appear for a cameo in Doctor Strange in the multiple, uh, Multiverse of Madness, and that Monica Rambeau will be a main character in the upcoming Disney Plus series Secret Invasion, Batwoman is looking to get cancelled by the powers that be at the CW. It sounds like that announced third season will be the show's last. However, our source also says that the studio does not want to dispose of the, the Batwoman character. In fact, they want to use her in other shows after her solo series ended. Now, if there's any truth to this at all, I will say it. I am not surprised. I'm not surprised, and my, my, my one question is, why the hell did they take? Why the hell did they take so long? This show should have been canceled after the first season, since you saw the ratings. And then if you look at the ratings for the second season, it's even worse. The second season, the premiere, made had a 68%, over 68% drop from the last episode of the first season. It just, it, it's, it's bad. And that's just the demographic when it comes to the viewers. It is over a 64% drop. Not good. And it kept, draw, and it dropped again the next week. The week after that, it went up, but then the week after that, it dropped again, then dropped again, then dropped again. And then surprisingly, the week before, for episode 7, it actually went up. Now, I think this was also the same week that the Grammys were being held. And I think a lot of people speculate that they didn't want to watch the Grammys, so they just say, you know what, I'm just going to tune into Batwoman, because even this is better than that crap. But then, unsurprisingly, now granted, these aren't the final ratings, but they dropped again. It, uh, the demo dropped back to 0 0.10, a over 9% drop. And when it comes to the viewers, it dropped by 0.72%. Now again, 
to be fair, these aren't the final ratings, so for all we know, they could be adjusted up or they could be adjusted down. But in, but in my opinion, I would not be surprised if it got adjusted down. I honestly would not be surprised. On the other hand, you go ahead and you look at a show like Superman and Lois. Superman and Lois, a show that people like. A show that people really, really like. Now, if you look at that, you, you look at the ratings, you think, okay, that's not all that impressive. In fact, you, you can see the premiere had a 1.74 million viewers. But then it drops down to 1.23, but then it goes up to 1.25, but then it drops again. Now, you guys have to keep in mind, if Superman and Lois had come out, let's say back in 2014, back when the CW still had some goodwill when it comes to their shows, I guarantee you the, the ratings will be a hell of a lot better because the show is good. Okay, I've seen the, all four episodes. Now, from what I understand, it seems like it's going to take a bit of a hiatus after the fifth episode. Now, if you're wondering where is the review that I said I was going to do for Superman and Lois, I have decided to wait until the fifth episode comes out, and then I'm just going to review all, the, all of them together. I'm going to review all of them together. I'm going to give you guys my full opinions on the first five episodes. I'm not going to go into detail about each episode because that would take too long since each episode is like 40 minutes long, or except for the premiere where it was like a, like an hour long. So I am going to wait. I'll wait until the fifth episode comes out, and then I will give you my full opinion on the first five episodes. And then I'm just hoping because I, the, I'm not going to lie, there is a part of me that thinks that it's probably going to go woke. Like I would not be surprised if it does. Because that's the CW. It happened with Arrow. It happened with Flash. I think it happened with uh, Legends of Tomorrow. That's just what they do. And my fear is that after the hiatus for the fifth episode, when it does come back, it's probably going to just be terrible. Because seriously, the first four episodes are really, really good. They are very, very good. And again, if this came out back in 2014, when it still had some goodwill, or maybe even 2013, I guarantee you the ratings will be a hell of a lot better than this. But I want you to keep them and keep this in mind. This is just the first season, and it, each episode consistently made over a million viewers, or consistently brought in over a million viewers. Whereas you look at season two of Batwoman, doesn't even break a billion, a million, excuse me, barely even a million, doesn't even make a million, not even close. It's just, it's sad. It's, it's sad. I mean, seriously, the CW, it's just, if they had just made shows like Superman and Lois from the beginning, they wouldn't be in trouble. And even Superman and Lois could still go bad. It still could. In fact, there's a part of me that's kind of preparing myself for it. But for now, I'm just going to enjoy the show as it is, because it is pretty damn good. So that's all I have to say when it comes to this. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, guys... Let me know, uh, if you want to support me and this channel, please remember to leave a like, share the video, and subscribe if you haven't. And if you have subscribed, please check to make sure you are still subscribed. And also remember to click on the bell icon because that way you will be notified whenever I post a brand new video. That is all I have to say. Remember to stay safe and take care of yourselves and please join me for the next video. Bye for now.